Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is another monthly review with that month being February. See, it says February right there. February should have been a really good month for me. It's my birthday month. I was just hoping things would be better in kind of every aspect and it wasn't. I had an appointment with my therapist at the beginning of February. Just before the appointment, I was actually sat in the car for half an hour crying my eyes out and uh, it was at a motorway service station and I was literally just like, I wish I could just throw myself under the traffic right now. I felt awful. And that's kind of how the month's gone. I spent my birthday in tears, the day before my birthday, the day after my birthday. I'm, my mental state has just been really shit the last month. Uh, I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a minute. Now the first few things that I'm going to talk about are kind of mental and emotional things and the way I'm feeling. So just bear with me. I received a message on Instagram last week saying, I have trouble putting on weight. Please can you tell me how to put on weight seeing as you've gotten so fat? Now, first of all, I will say you should never comment on someone's weight, let alone if they've got an eating disorder or not. People have no idea how much it hurts and how much it fucks me up. The reason I've gotten so fat is not because my eating is going well, but because I had to come off of my medication last year, which can cause weight gain. And something happened to me last year which really fucked my hormones up. I'm not going to go into that because it's nobody's business but mine. If I was in a really good place with my eating, I would have told you. I would have made a video saying, yeah, life is wonderful, I feel fucking marvellous and I'm fine, I'm cured. <laughs> Yay, la la la. I haven't. You do not call someone fat. I don't appreciate any comments on my appearance about how healthy or well I look. I don't feel healthy or well. I'm in pain all fucking day and it, it just pisses me off. I talk about my eating disorder less on this channel because I don't want to be just an anorexic YouTuber, I want this to be about what I want to talk about, my music, my mental state, my eating disorder, but the majority of what I talk about with my eating disorder is about the complications that can arise um, from eating disorders as you know about like, the neurological complications that I've had and all the other stuff. I don't feel in a good enough place to be saying, well, yeah, I'm fixed and cured and all that. Especially seeing as my anxiety and my depression is really affecting my appetite. For the last sort of six months, I've been completely turned off of food. I have no appetite. I'm stupidly thirsty, but I just, the thought of food makes me feel physically sick. I've never talked about what I eat now for the simple reason that I'm not in a good enough place to talk about that. It wouldn't be healthy for me to put out what I do eat because I I don't eat enough, I am um, severely lacking in several things. The next thing, which is also kind of an emotional thing, is something that occurred to me last week or the week before, and I actually talked about it in a vlog that I did, but the vlog, as 90% of the vlogs that I record do, got trashed because I think it's shit. Something happened to me, I think it was two weekends ago, and I got all dressed up, and not dressed up, but I was wearing nice clothes, I tried to do my makeup nice, I tried to do my hair nice. I was putting on the best me that I feel that I can. And I felt so incredibly vulnerable. More vulnerable than when I'm not wearing makeup, than when I'm wearing shitty clothes. Because when you put on makeup, when you make yourself the best you can be, you're kind of putting yourself out there and like, this is the best I get. And when something happens to make you feel sad, you just, f I, f I feel awful. And I felt, the only way I can describe it is really vulnerable and hurt. And it was just, shit and I, I've never heard anyone talk about that like about feeling more vulnerable wearing makeup and being done up than not. Starting on to the more interesting stuff my hair I'm back to black it kind of it's black dark brown I actually got like the darkest browny black that I could when I first did it it always goes jets black and then it starts to fade a little bit it's fading really quickly um but I really like it I'm really happy with it I feel like dark hair suits me so much more I like experimenting with blonde hair, but I'm trying to grow my hair. I really want my hair like proper, proper long, like waist length. So I know that I can't be bleaching it anymore. Next thing I want to talk about is looking after myself. I think I mentioned this in my last video or it might have been my roundup of 2016, but I'm not looking after myself very well. More kind of emotionally, it's affecting me. I'm not putting myself first. I'm not protecting myself. I'm not making sure that my needs are met, I guess. I struggle with that because I feel like that often relies on other people and how they're reacting to you and physically I'm failing a lot of looking after myself as well I am trying there are certain things I'm trying to do one I'm drinking a lot more water as I said just now I'm not hungry at all but I'm crazy crazy thirsty all the time two I've always found, found baths really stressful but they cause me a lot of pain I don't like looking at my body because you're lying there and you're just fats flying all everywhere I don't like it however lush really helps with this and I'm trying to just like take 
downtime and have baths like maybe every other day. I've got a massive stock of blush stuff so I need to put a ban on the buying anymore until I've used up some of what I've got. I found out a few months ago that I had a vitamin D deficiency and it's it was quite severe. I was given tablets to start. I haven't been taking them and vitamin D deficiency can cause just a general feeling of lethargy, tiredness, joint pain, run down. I just wasn't making it a priority to take them because I've had other stuff on my mind and it just, I forget. So I've started taking them again and I had another blood test and my doctor was like, have you been taking your tablets? And I was like, yeah. But if it doesn't get any better, then I'm gonna have to have IV intervention which I don't wanna have because I don't like needles. As I said, it was my birthday on the 11th of February. Didn't really do anything because I don't really like birthdays, just spent a chilled out day crying all day. I find it really stressful and it really upset me and there was just loads of things that just kind of got on top of me. I did get a Lush gift card for my birthday which oh, I've obviously spent it already and I was very pleased about that and I got some money towards um, mine and Sam's holiday, we're going on holiday uh, hopefully uh, in September and we're going away for a few days at the beginning of April as well. We're not going anywhere far, that's just like literally somewhere local. I wanted us to take a few days just for ourselves and away from the stress of everything and just have some time together. Uh, something I mentioned in my last video that I was really looking forward to in January was train spotting. I didn't get to see it. Dear Pastor Charlotte, you don't need to be grumpy and angry about not having seen train spotting because two days after filming this video you are going to find a cinema where it's on. Yay! I've just seen it and it was amazing. I really, really enjoyed it, so. I just wanted to show you quickly some of the stuff I got the day before my birthday, because I went shopping with my mum, which was incredibly anxiety inducing because I'm a dick. It's not really exciting. I got like loads of makeup and beauty stuff. I got quite a few nude lip stuffs like this. This is the NYX Lip Lingerie in a nudie color and I'm wearing it now. I'm also wearing this actually with it, which is the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss. I got a new contour stick because mine snapped off. I've got to admit, I'm not entirely keen on this shade. I think I got the wrong shade for me. It's a little bit more orangey than I normally use. I am still gonna use it and it really, it blends really nicely as well, but it just, I probably should have got a darker shade. I got my eyeshadow at the moment because I still have eczema on my eyes. So I'm pretty much just wearing eyeliner and mascara but i'm shit at like doing a wing i used to have this years ago this is a different one this has got little bits of gold in it so it's like black and gold because they didn't have just the plain black one it's the l'oreal super liner ultra precision the other eyeliner that i got is this one and it's really cool it's the mass uh, it's the maybelline masterpiece curvy so it's like a teardrop shape and then it's really thin so you can do it really thin and then you can flick it out for a thicker bit it's really cool it's really easy to use my favourite thing that I got is this foundation and it is the Vichy Derma Blend 3D Correction. Not only is it a great foundation, it's kind of like a mousse consistency so it blends really well but it clears up spots and that's why I got it because it helps with your spots. My skin has been a mess the last month. My own fault because as I said I've not been looking after myself but this is fantastic. It's a bit expensive, It's like I think it was like 18 or 19 pounds and it's not the biggest tube. If you struggle with your skin, then I'd suggest looking into it. Something else I was going to talk about is the fact I've been in so much pain the last month. My hips have been really, really bad and I have ended up having to go to the doctor. I have osteoarthritis in my hips anyway, but the pain got so bad in my left one, which is normally, it's normally the right one that's worse. I couldn't, I couldn't get out of bed. It was just horrific. And so I went to the doctor and she said that I have sciatica with, I can't remember what she called it, but... It's because whenever I walk, I have crutches, so I'm walking in a very strange way for my body. And because my hips are weak anyway and painful anyway, because my, with my osteoarthritis, they're prone to kind of hurting and they're prone to kind of being more vulnerable. And she said that using my crutches means that I'm just walking in a way that bodies aren't supposed to be used. So I need to start using this. This is my walking stick. I have to balance out kind of what's hurting more, like my feet or my hips. If my feet are hurting more, then I have to use my crutches. If my hips are hurting more, then I need to try and use my walking stick. I am gonna kind of try and use my stick more around the house. I can't walk very far anyway, but I need to start using this and up the stairs as well, because I can't do crutches up the stairs, but you can use a walking stick. Speaking of walking, I used to wear really high heels before I had my feet problem and my hip problem, like five or six inches, even though I'm five foot 11. I just love wearing high heels. They make me feel better about myself and they make me feel like me. I haven't been able to wear heels and I actually got some boots about two months ago that are similar to this and they lace up 
and they're about four inches. There's, I, I did put a photo of them on my Instagram page, but they're just a bit awkward to get in. They're so comfortable because my feet hurt being like that, having a heel kind of takes a little bit of the pressure off of my muscles. Um, but it puts more pressure there, but because I've got pads on my feet, I don't know, I can't remember what they're called, but they're felt pads to provide padding on my feet and I have them anyway. They're just really, really comfortable and I wanted to get some like this, like some slip-on ones, because obviously my boots take a bit of getting into just so you have to unlace them and all that. These are going to slip on and off, they fit my braces, they're comfortable and they don't hurt. I got them from ASOS and I think they were £35. Something else that's kind of to do with not looking after myself is I have been so ill. I started off February having the flu for about five days and I felt fucking awful. I've basically been getting a bug every sort of two weeks. I've been getting ill for two weeks. I have two days off and then I get ill again. And that's been going on since October time. And I had blood tests and it just, it didn't show anything other than the usual things that are dodgy. So I don't know, it's my body's just being a pain in the ass. It's been better again the last two weeks but annoyingly my joint pain has been worse so it's like <sighs> something that I forgot to mention in January is that it was mine and Sam's one year anniversary in January I don't think we did anything I think we just stayed in and watched tv and stuff but oh, that's perfect for me something that I'm very much looking forward to next month is Beauty and the Beast that was like my hero when I was growing up and I used to have uh, all the Beauty and the Beast merchandise I think it was one of the first films that I saw at the cinema it was one of the first films that I remember seeing. But that, Aladdin and Little Mermaid are all just like, my they're my three favourite Disney films. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm not sure how I feel about Emma Watson as Belle, but I'm going to cry anyway, so she can be shit and it doesn't matter. But I'm hoping she'll be, I'm hoping she'll be good. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is music. I've been working on my music since like July. I actually did a song before that, but I'm just not happy with how it sounds. And it's one of my old songs, but rewritten. And I, I might upload it at some point, but I need to make sure that I'm really happy with it because I'm very, I'm a perfectionist about my music. I had a massive meltdown yesterday because I couldn't get what I was doing right. I've got two songs that are pretty much finished and I'm going to be filming a video for, hopefully I'm going to be filming a video for one of them today. And I'm really excited, I'm particularly more excited about the second one, but the music for that isn't quite finished yet because the guitar, one of the guitar parts needs to be re-recorded. They're completely different style for me singing wise and because they're newer songs they kind of just feel like a new chapter with my music if you didn't know i recorded and released an album a few years ago and it was a fucking disaster because the people that i was working with are absolutely they didn't like me they didn't like my music and they made it very well known so doing music now kind of feels like i'm taking something back for me because so much of my <laughs> this sounds really silly but so much of my soul was taken when I recorded the album, which is ironic, seems one of the out songs on the album was called Never Take My Soul. That's all I'm going to talk about this month. I've been talking for 23 minutes and I've got to try and edit this down. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I am currently writing a blog post that by the time this video goes up, the blog post will be up. So please look down below. There's a link to my blog and go and subscribe. I haven't uploaded anything in months. So this is the first thing I've uploaded and I want to try and get back into it. So subscribe and read my shit. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you again soon. Comment down below if you have any questions and I will see you again soon. Bye.